Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising uh, for the weeks of February 1st through the 15th, 2022. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to email me for a price list if you don't already have it. If you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process, so just make sure that um, you're registered at Bill Per Call and request your call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. Um, be sure to check me out on Patreon. I do the monthly Venus sign readings there, um, and then check me out on TikTok. All right, so we have the overall energy as the Ace of Swords. We have the Three of Cups. Uh, we have Jupiter. We have the Tower. The Hanged Man. Queen of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so... I feel like something's going on where uh, you are going to have clarity about your love life or clarity about some sort of situation in regards to that. Um, I also feel that, you know, you're going to have some sort of awakening or a moment of enlightenment here. The tr It looks like the truth is going to come out and maybe you're going to be very shocked at what does come out or what's revealed to you. I feel that you are about to have like a whole new set of beliefs on something. Um, old beliefs are fading, crumbling, going away. And I feel like you are embracing some sort of new set of beliefs, um, maybe in regards to relationships or how you view relationships or even someone in particular. Uh, definitely could be a friend that reveals something to you, maybe something that's supposed to be platonic, um, or maybe your friend introduces you to someone that um, is really exciting, refreshing. Um, I feel that something is going to happen very unexpectedly to you or something, something is going to cause like a change in your pattern or routine. Um, something also could be revealed to you in a dream or it's going to be confirmed about some sort of connection that you have with someone, especially if you felt like you had some sort of telepathic connection with someone. I also feel that the way a relationship begins is going to be um, like, crazy it's it's hard to explain i'm just getting a relationship starting in a very unusual or unorthodox way um i feel that when you are asleep or dreaming you may experience something very sensual that really throws you off and then I'm also picking up on um, going back to how this relationship is beginning I feel like maybe someone is going to be like a catalyst for change um, if you have been bored with the love offers I feel like there is one that is really going to grab your attention and knock you off your feet. Um, you're like, whoa, like, where did you come from? Like, who are you? Like, someone's really coming into your life and, like, disrupting it. Like, 
a great deal, but now I'm not getting in a negative sense. We'll, we'll clarify it, but that's not what I'm getting in that way. It's just like, you threw me off. Like I wasn't expecting, I was prepared for this, but I wasn't prepared for that. So yeah, something about your love life is very unexpected. Um, also, something could be going on where if you found yourself stuck, like this person may be coming into your life and like pushing you forward. It already looks like something's been trying to grab your attention. I don't know if you weren't paying attention, but it's like if you don't get the message if you haven't gotten a message over the previous few months, like you're going to get the message now. Um, you also may want to look to where Jupiter is at in your birth chart because that may also give you some clues in regards to what's happening or getting ready to happen in your love life. Love life. So it may be bringing some sort of abundance to you. So let's say, for instance, you have Jupiter in the second house, maybe your your love interest or your relationship is going to somehow bring wealth, financial wealth into your life. Um, maybe this person is rich or maybe they're big on spoiling people. Um, also for females and gay men, Jupiter represents the husband. Um, more so Mars. Mars. Mars is more so like the boyfriend, but Jupiter is the husband. So you might want to look at what sign Jupiter is in in your chart to understand like the nature of your spouse. So for instance, if you have uh, Jupiter in Gemini, maybe you're going to get someone who is very philosophical, someone who's very chatty, someone who overthinks. Um, so, yeah, I feel like Jupiter is expanding whatever sign is in or what the qualities of that sign um, or the the expanding the nature of the house that is in. Um, if it's in the fifth house, maybe this person is going to bring either a lot of children or a lot of fun into your life um, or a lot of creativity. So, yeah, look for where Jupiter is at. I feel like this is also about luck. I feel like your luck is changing or you're going to feel very lucky. Um, your friends might bring you luck. You might end up meeting someone through a friend. Um, And then again, like Jupiter is considered to be your husband in astrology. So I feel that, you know, this could be the week that you meet your husband or at least, you know, within these next couple of a couple of weeks, the person that you connect with may be your future husband. Um, again, I keep getting something about breaking boundaries, breaking rules, breaking but maybe a curse is broken. You know, maybe you f if if you feel like you like there's been some sort of curse or something has been blocking you. To me, this looks like oh, that's being broken. Um, I also feel that someone is going to activate your third eye or your crown chakra. Even if you feel like you're already intuitive or psychic or have some sort of ability, I feel like this person is going to heighten those qualities. They're expanding it. They're they're really bringing something to the table. Um, there may be some something going on in your synastry charts too, where it feels like they're touching one of your personal planets that's activating something within you. Um, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or they, they may have that in their chart. I feel that, you know, whatever you're asking for, this person is giving it to you. Something also seems like a wish or like 
genie in a bottle now I know realistically if you rub um, a bottle you know a genie is not gonna pop out but I'm I bet you there is still some sort of esoteric meaning like that story line comes from somewhere something's going on maybe you don't understand it maybe it's gonna be revealed to you um, but maybe something will be revealed to you in regards to how wishes work or how manifestation works um, or how your thoughts work you're like man my thoughts really did that like Thoughts really do become things. Now, if there was a situation where you were not on speaking terms with someone, I do feel that there could be communication or, you know, two people are negotiating or talking or just like forgiveness is or someone's asking for an apology or forgiving the other person. There could be some sort of trust being established. Also, if you have been in a, a, an established relationship already, it is possible that the relationship may fall apart or there could be a breakup just out of the blue. But I feel that the breakup needed to happen to expose the cracks in the foundation so that you could fix it, strengthen it, or just get out, period. Um, but I see something being rebuilt Something is falling apart so it can be rebuilt. And I feel like it's going to come back stronger. Mm, something does take time to develop. I also feel like if something starts off, like love at first sight, matter of fact, I feel that it starts off very intense and then it starts to develop kind of slow. But I feel that it starts off like this. It, it needed to start off. It needed like this. It needed to grab your attention. Um, and then after the their, the initial um, establishment of the relationship, like that's just happening to get the ball rolling. It's like then things start to just become grounded. Mm. You also may potentially meet someone at work or there's going to be some sort of business monetary exchange. Might be a business deal or partnership. You also could be invited to something. I feel like you're agreeing to something. You're agreeing to do something. You're agreeing to go along with something or agreeing to work with this energy. It's still also the energy of like a soul contract. Hmm. For some of you, you might find yourself engaged and it was totally unexpected. Also could find out about a pregnancy. If you were in a relationship, you might find out about a third party. You might find out something about your enemy or find out that someone had done something to you. You may find out too about somebody being jealous of your good luck. They don't feel like, not necessarily that you don't deserve it, but kind of like, why them and not me? Um, your friend, pay attention to your friends when you share some sort of good news with them because I feel like you're going to be met with hate. I feel like it, it's going to come out. They might may not even realize 
how they sound or that their comment is just like so hate filled or like I know hate is a strong some of you feel I don't think it's that strong if you hate some you hate some but it's it's more so like a jealousy thing it's like oh that sound petty Hmm. Okay, I see something manifesting in somebody saying some sort of backhanded compliment. Or it's just something not right about what how your friend speaks to you or what they say to you. I feel too like you are going to need to figure out how to find a solution to something that wasn't working. Some of you may be faced with some sort of anxiety or realizing that you need to let something go. Okay, I feel too like once you start to move on in a, a new direction, someone may feel like they waited too late. Like another person might feel like, oh, I shouldn't have waited. They're leaving. They might try to intervene your new love connection because they feel like they waited too late. You may need to also set boundaries with someone who is intrusive. I also feel like maybe someone comes off as detached because they don't like to show their emotional side. Hmm. I'm seeing something coming out in regards to a third party, an outsider. Could be a love interest, could be someone's mom. Maybe someone needs to stand up to their mom or stand up to their baby's mom. Someone may have been afraid to stand up to this person they do come off very intimidating. People may have even said this person was scary. If you are in a healthy relationship with someone who has children by someone else, it's possible that the mother of the children is just like, maybe someone needed to put her in check. She could have been crossing boundaries too much.
you may be very surprised to find out that someone wants to marry you or they've been thinking about uh, at least asking you out depending on what stage this connection is in. Um, you may be very surprised to find out how somebody feels about you. I feel too like maybe something's been in front of your face and you weren't paying attention. Could have been one of your followers if you're on social media. Could have been some uh, playful flirtation between you and another follower, but you didn't put too much into it. Then all of a sudden this person is like, bam, like, no, seriously, I want to take you out or I want to get to know you. I want to be your man, uh, you know, uh, I'm your girl. I want to be your girl, like whatever. It's just like maybe someone just is like going to really put it out there. I do feel like you're going to agree to go out with someone or you're agreeing to get married or you're agreeing to get to know somebody. Could be a number exchange, just like let's exchange numbers, let's exchange information. Um... You may have ignored someone because you thought they were a dog or you thought they were a player. And then it turns out that, yeah, I feel like you couldn't take somebody serious and then they're going to show you that they're dead ass. They're like, no, I want to, I'm not a player. I'm not this, that, and the other. They're going to show you how serious they are. somebody is very nervous in regards to what they have to say and I feel like somebody's been planning on sharing something with you or someone's been composing like a message or a letter that they have not sent but I do feel like they may even send it incomplete like they accidentally hit send and they were like I wasn't finished and it's like it's too late. They can't take it back. I feel like somebody wants to fix something. Um, someone wants to make it up to you or fix something. They definitely want your attention. Hmm. I see somebody letting their guards down. I feel like outside forces are definitely intervening to get the ball rolling. Also, somebody may just be realizing that they feel some type of way about you. But it's like, I don't know why this is like brand new, but they all of a sudden realize that they feel some sort of connection to you or that they're in love with you or that they miss you. It just like slaps them across the face, whatever this feeling is. Um, hmm. Hope you've been paying attention to your dreams because something may have already come through to you in a dream or something was revealed to you to prepare you for the person that is coming into your life. Pay attention if you, even if let's say you've been dreaming about somebody and you'll be like, ew, I'll never get back with that person. Think about that person's name. Think about that person's sign because spirit may have just used their avatar to represent the name or the sign of the person that's coming towards you. Um, or the ethnicity. It's like, okay, they're just, let's use them to represent 
this or that. I do feel like someone's been thinking about you though. If it is a past person, I feel like maybe the connection ended abruptly. And the way Jupiter, the Jupiter, the guy in this card is holding this bolt of lightning, I I feel like, you know, someone is aiming at you. Like, they're aiming at you. Almost like Cupid. It's like, no, I meant, you know, my eye has been on you. I've been thinking about you. And even, like I said, if it's a thought, I feel like it, their thoughts are going to get exposed. You're going to know that somebody was thinking about you. All right, so hopefully these messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Cindy, love and grace.